okay so let's take a look at how you can track the employee vacation within a table so what you can do you can start from scratch and here you can use existing data if you have from csv or you can paste it or you can even take from excel or google sheet right apart from that you can also check existing temple templates but the thing is you won't be able to uh, work around them the way you start from scratch because everything is already given to you so what we can do is get rid of the default template right so here I have this default primary field which I can't delete right so I will turn this name into date field so I did the field turn the single line text into date field right so here it is right you can choose the friendly one or even the european one right so i will stick with european then next thing i can also edit this part out with date right i want to make it the primary field next thing we will add single line text make it the name of employee or simply keep employee name much easier to read right create the field right next thing we will use three date fields one for sick days so date then sick days right choose the european one or friendly one or even us if you have so i'm sticking with european one create the field right next thing we will also add one more date which is going to be our vacation day right then stick with the date format of your choice then finally we will use personal leave so we have like three different type of leaves right and then we choose european one create field right now the thing is i want to rename the base as well so i will write it employee vacation tracker right you can change the color if i want then let's add something like some friendly icon okay now we are good to go now here you already see our default field date employee name sick days vacation personally we can start by filling this up let's see today i have and i'm taking sick leave right and i will not fill the rest of the things now next i want to say 26 joe's took personal leave right so i have that data so the important part is not the field we have here so i can even edit this and have it today's date but the thing is but these three fields are the important one right let's go with another one and let's say someone took vacation on 15th or if you want to put it for future you can set for 30 right so these are some of the entries by default right now the thing is i want to use a form so go to form view add in employee tracking leave tracking right and then choose the personal create new view right now the thing is i can use date employee name sick days vacation personal leave right so let's go and open the form this field i don't want to use right so i will try and hide this so we will remove this field form from right then we have employee names 
and then the type of leaf they went they were using right so next thing is refresh this form and wait for it to appear here as you can see these the these are the fields that we want for displaying so let's say employee name is Satner and he's taking sick day for 31st so if we submit this it should go into our database now the thing is I want grade view to display that and here you see I have that data added now the field which is primary field which I removed could keep track of when this entry was made so you can go back to form and add that but other than that it's not really required because we are just tracking the employee and their leaves right can I add one more field and keep the duration of their leave like six days for five days vacation five or something like that you can add that duration field as well right so here you can also use the formula for that right so when they tap in for six days and then you can add it there the thing is if you use formula it will get complicated so some of the time just entering the initial date and then using duration field or maybe even text field to how many days that would work something like this duration field right and then create this field so here see six days three days duration right and then so on you can keep on calculating that so there are many variations to this particular tracker you can go through can automate as much as possible or you can manually set few things and keep track over this data